Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Steven Wen versus Jarno Enners. Jarno Enners coming into the UFC was 13-3. Uh, he is now 13-5-1. He's 2-3 in his last five fights and a two-fight losing streak in the UFC. He won against uh, William Gomez, which was a majority. I'm pretty sure if I remember that fight correctly. I actually thought er um, Ernes, Ernes won that fight. And then he lost to Su Won Choi, Su Hu Choi, uh, by decision six months ago. But Stephen Wen, uh, nine and one, four and one, his last five fights. His one loss is against Alan Cruz. He's been on the Contender Series three times. To think he uh, that Alan Cruz KO'd Stephen Wen four years ago with a flying knee. If you know how bad Alan Cruz is. You know how ridiculous that is. Uh, Steven Wynn coming off the win against AJ Cunningham also six months ago. If you haven't seen that fight, it's almost hard to watch because of how tough AJ Cunningham is. He's a minus 220 favorite. You, we know exactly what this is. UFC brought in earns. Thought he could be a good prospect. Two fight losing streak. This is it. You lose one more, you're out of the UFC. Steven Wynn gets his opportunity. 30 years old. 5'11 with a 73 inch reach. Jar uh, Jarno, a slight underdog at my, uh, plus 175. He should be an underdog. 29 years old. Jesus. 5'11 with a 73 inch reach as well. I really like what I've seen from Stephen Wine. If you watch a lot of his fights, especially the Contender Series one, there's three of them. He's two and two and one in the in the uh, Contender Series. His other fights not bad. But you really see his potential grow after the loss with uh, Lon Cruz. Got back on track right after that. And then, again, two wins in a row on Contender Series. Got denied the uh, uh, the first win and then came back and fought AJ Cunningham. And it was an incredible fight. Incredible. But, again, I like his combinations. I like his uh, – his, uh, he does not have a lot of movement, I would say, but he stays – with the high guard is susceptible to um, good durable um, boxers I would say um, or maybe like a long rangey guy but because because he keeps his hands like this he's very good to set, uh, defensively up here but he does get touched um, but it's not uh, the style of Jarno Earns is not the style that's gonna expose that you know uh, Jarno, he grapples. He does have, you know, he has eight finishes out of 13 wins. But again, we've seen damn near none of that. He's a decently good uh, uh, grappler with, you know, striker. He at least had five submissions. but So he's going to be looking to grapple. Stephen Wynn. I, I like Stephen Wynn in this one. I think his takedown defense will hold up. He, he trains at Fortis, Fortis MMA. I think his combinations are going to be nasty in this fight. This fight, I don't think, will go to a decision. Um, that is my bet, but I like Steven Wen a lot in this matchup. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, let me, cop, uh, subscribe, like, comment. As always, guys, let let me know what you guys think. Peace.